I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Classic Hero Team Optimus Primal. And I don't know anything about this. This is brand new to me. I have... No knowledge of this. I, I, I've i never seen any announcements on this. Um, I have never knew this was coming. Nothing. I just saw this in the store this morning. Uh, as I was walking through the toy aisle, there he was. So I'm going to say this is brand new for the summer of 2022 because I just saw it in the store this morning. I picked it up at Walmart and it retailed for about $11. So, and I saw, you know, it's, it's Optimus Primal. I had to pick him up. So, uh, what can we see here in the packaging? It's an open package. It doesn't even have a flap on this end. This is just like a loose, flappy box, as you can see right there. Uh, but uh, yeah, very, very cool looking little Optimus Primal figure right there. Already packaged in robot mode. He's just tied up here on the top and down here at the bottom. Got the Transformers logo. Transformers Classic Heroes Team Optimus Primal. Easy to do conversion. And we can see a product shot of him right there in his gorilla mode. We got some cool artwork of him up here in his gorilla mode. I love this picture. This is such a cool picture of him just kind of flying off. And I love that grin that they've given him right there. It's just so, so cool. Going around the back, we can see two in one product shots of Optimus Primal in his gorilla mode and in his robot mode. Optimus Primal saves the day with his mighty strength. And then we got that same statement again in a couple of. Uh, languages there that's about it for the packaging nothing really to open up so we're just going to cut these ties this is going to be a little different from what i normally do we're just going to cut those ties and get them out of here and there's a figure right there and there's i hope those are the instructions right there no those are not instructions so there's no instructions on this i gotta figure out how this works i suppose let's uh open this flap here and see if there was anything in here no no instructions. Check that out. So I guess he's going to be easy enough to figure out. But there we go. Uh, let's get this cleaned up. And we'll take a closer look at Optimus right here. We can see Optimus is in his rollout mode. I guess this is going to be somewhat of a first impressions review. Because you are seeing me unbox him and try to figure him out for the first time right here. Robot mode stands approximately that's it, about four and a half inches tall right there um how does this well okay i guess you just kind of fold them over and there you go there's there's his beast mode right there that was kind of cool <laughs> it was completely unplanned uh this is a new kind of that's just prime review we're just figuring it out as we go okay so here we have Optimus Primal in his gorilla mode, as you can see. And uh, let's see the size on this. Lengthwise, he's approximately a little under four inches long. And he's approximately three inches tall right there. So, you know, he's got a pretty cool little... Uh, it's it's a good size. It's a good for little hands. This will be a cool little toy right there. We can see Optimus Primal right there in his gorilla mode. You can see that, that face sculpt right there with that same grin that I absolutely loved in the packaging right there. Uh, he's got these big two hinges right here on the side of the head. That's a bit unfortunate. That's a little difficult to look at, but uh, yeah, it's not as bad as uh, Beast Wars Rhinox was, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's there. Um, got the fit, uh, the arms right there. You can see the, the fur all molded in. Got uh, some waffling and some hollow spots right there on the back of the arm and on the outside of the fist. It's unfortunate because the inside of the fist, which is the front of the fist for the robot mode, is solid. They didn't think to make it solid, close it up here on the outside, considering that's what's going to be facing out in gorilla mode. I probably would have taken another pass at that in QC. Hollow feet right there. And uh, you can see some more fur right here along the top of his head and his back and going into his legs. You can see the nice molded fur right there. And you've got the two little missiles right there on the top. Articulation-wise, he doesn't do anything. Now, was this supposed to rotate or is that? No, there's no, ch there's no gorilla chest to speak of. It's just his robot chest. Just straight down like that. So there you go. That is his gorilla mode. A couple of comparisons. Here he is with the old, I think it was still Tonka when this guy came out. The old play school Optimus Primal. Uh, quite a size difference from then to now, but this is what? This is like 20 years old, 
something like that. But you can see what the two of them look like together. This one has a really, really cool transformation. And for something a little more modern, here he is with the Kingdom Optimus Primal. So you can see the two of them, see what they look like together. And again, it's, it's a very cool little kitty version of this guy right here. I dig it. I like that a lot. Now let's see if we can figure out how to what I did to transform them earlier. I don't believe there was a spring-loaded gimmick or anything like that. I don't see any any buttons or anything. I guess you just oh okay maybe that's what you do. It looks like maybe you just pull the arms out and he just kind of automatically stands up. Okay, I see. So from robot down in the gorilla, you just kind of grab him by the arms and bring him down. And then you lock it in by twisting these right there. And then to turn him back into robot mode, that's really cool. I like that. To turn him back into robot mode, you twist the arms out to unlock them. And then you can just stand him up. If the chest doesn't get in the way of the head there. Okay, so that worked a lot easier the last time. Why isn't it working now? Because I had the arms twisted. There you go. Okay, so okay, it seems like it's a little easier to bring into gorilla mode than it is to bring into robot mode. It just seems to kind of want to get caught going into robot mode when you're trying to stand them up right there. But I get, I see what they're going for. That's pretty neat. I actually, I dig it. I like it a lot. So once again, the there he is again in his robot mode, and I think he looks pretty good. It's a good, again, it's a good kitty version of Optimus Primal that we all know and love. I wish there was a way to lock this. It doesn't seem to be. You see how his gorilla head just kind of peeks out over his chest right there and you can kind of get it to stay up a little bit, but the minute you move it, it's just going to fall right back down. It would, would be nice if I, that just stayed up like that. You know? But, eh, such as this. Um, okay, so detail-wise, face sculpt is fantastic. Check that out. That is Optimus Primal from Beast Wars, true and true. Absolutely love that sculpt right head, there for the head. Unfortunately, it's a bit flat. There's no, no real head to speak of. It's just kind of like sticks me back to the OG one days, a panel that's just kind of attached to another panel to make a head. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of some of the old mini bots, but there you go. That's what I said it looks like, and I really dig the sculpt on that. Chest looks really good. All the robot details right there. These are done mostly in red. And then again, you've got the gorilla arms, and then you've got some metallic or some robotic details here for the legs and for the feet down here. Pretty neat. It makes a good, solid little robot with his little missile sticking up over the back. I dig it. This is really, really neat articulation wise. There's, there is no articulation. The head doesn't turn. It doesn't move up and down. Doesn't do anything. The arms. It would have been cool if the arms at least rotated, but I guess if they're working for the transformation gimmick, they're not going to. And of course, the feet are one solid piece, uh, one solid molded piece. So there you go. You're just gonna kind of stand there and look cool. Let's get another couple of comparisons one more time. There he is with the Play School Heroes Optimus Primal. So you can see how they compare what they look like together and uh yeah this guy was kind of a departure from the look we i i think they were going more for like a beast machines look i think it's, it, i i think i read that somewhere or heard that somewhere is that they were really kind of going for the beast machines look than the actual beast wars look something like that i don't know i mean he doesn't look like any optimus primal that i'm familiar with uh beast wars beast machines or otherwise but yeah that's what they said but there you go so you can see what the two of them look like together uh one more time here he is with kingdom optimus primal so you can see what the two of them look like together and again you can see very cool little kid version of this guy right here i dig it i dig it and just just because i've got him here in case there's rain and lightning and my dog decides to hide under the couch here he is with g1 optimus prime i always keep him around in case of emergency so you can see what the two of them look like together so yeah very cool i am so happy that I found this guy, just again happened upon him. I was walking down the aisle, there he was, he caught my eye, I'm like, hey, there's an Optimus Prime slash Prime Mall that I don't have, let me pick him up and check it out, and he's pretty neat, and I think my four-year-old is going to have a lot of fun playing with him until she loses interest, and then it can go up on my shelf, and he will look cool next to these guys. So very, very neat right there. And I think that about does it for the Transformers Classic Heroes team, Optimus Primal. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.